VR is important to film in that it's, it's a new creative medium. But will this creative medium stick? And if so, is VR worth the investment? Virtual reality is a new storytelling medium getting rapid popularity. Students entering Dodge, even without a specific curriculum for VR, were quick to pick up the new technology. We didn't have any VR classes or VR equipment at the time. Lucas Bugby, a junior film production major, shot his first VR film on a DIY GoPro camera designed to work like virtual reality technology. However, he struggled with Dodge not interested in buying VR equipment for his projects. However, Madeline Warren has worked with professionals to expand Chapman's VR program, one of which professionals she met at a BAFTA party. was introduced to a man who, upon learning that I teach at Dodge, said, I want to come and talk to your students about VR. That man was Roy Taylor, Corporate Vice President of Alliances at Advanced Micro Devices. He went on to fund the first virtual reality project put on by Dodge. The Harvest. And we created that kind of as an introductory piece for Chapman and invite other students to come in and inspire them to create VR content for themselves. More resources are being invested in the expanding business. VR equipment has a wide range of costs, from a few hundred dollars for a simple 360 camera to thousands of dollars for high-end computer workstations to tens of thousands of dollars for high-quality VR camera rigs. Not only do costs stack up for the VR equipment, but also for the pure production as well. Currently, I'm working on uh, a engine-based room-scale VR experience. So this, this one isn't live action, it's actually fully animated, and the viewer is able to walk around the world of the story. And I'm working on that with a director named Luke Snedeker. Show and Luke went to Kickstarter to raise a goal of $5,000. As Luke explains, production costs go beyond renting out VR equipment. There are models to buy, performers to pay, and lots of extra things that are needed to be purchased for this project to be completed. So the question is, is this worth it? AR and VR has been shown to progress after college as well. Alumnus Matthew Rebong, a class of 2015 creative producing major, has created the company Well Told Entertainment, which develops character-driven augmented and virtual reality games. Although a young company with its inception in October 2015, it has been building from industry professional investments. Chapman sees a rise in this business, putting faith into action not only through monetary investment, but from their dedicated staff, called the Institute of Creative Reality, of which Roy Finch is a member. So I think it, it will you know, affect us across every single aspect of our lives, much the way the computer has in the last 20 years. Class in virtual reality in the winter, sort of an introductory course. Currently have a VR development course, VR production course, and a couple of engine-specific programming courses over in the computer science department. We also have a VR minor, and all I can say is that the VR program is only going to get bigger, and now is the time to join.